After Shem, yeah, after Shem, his, the chosen came through our facts had. Because Shem had five sons. So the chosen would be through our facts had. And that would lead all the way up to, you know, Eber, and then eventually uh, Pele. Pele, then uh, Terah, which was Abraham's father. Which yeah. the, they were Gentiles. They were the Gentiles at that time. <laughs> yeah. Any of the chapter two, they go like just ten. Yeah. Go to all like the whole yep. Kind yeah. Of yeah. 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 Okay. In uh, six, go to six now. Kind. Uh, Genesis six and one. It says, and it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. Yep, and that's always been a downfall of our people, you know what I'm saying, dealing with other other uh, nations. Like basically when you they had like you can deal with dealing with other women is not an issue, but when you can take on their customs, that's where the issue comes in. Mm -hmm. We didn't hold to that staring thing we thought instead of something. Right. Okay. What was another notable lineage that was on the earth at this time? At this time? Yeah. It was the sons of man, sons of wicked, uh no, the sons of sons of God, which is like chosen lineage, uh -huh. the sons of men and the sons of wicked. Right, and specific by name, name another nation that will be on the earth at the same time right now. Right now, let's see. Uh at this time. He said it. Oh, Cain. 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 Yeah, yeah. The Cain's lineage was on the earth at this time. So if you paint a picture, Jake was scattered among these yeah. other nations in the Cain's lineage and started living like them. And yeah. the same thing is happening through yeah. Esau. Yeah. <clears throat> Genesis 5 and verse 2 again. It says, I might as well start from the top again. Genesis yeah. 6 and 1. And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were fair, and they took them wives, all which they chose. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he is also flesh, yet his days shall be an hundred and twenty years. Now break down verse 2. Oh, verse 2? Yeah. yeah. So basically it says, uh, Yep. Verse 2 That the sons of God saw the daughters of men So the sons of God saw the daughters of men So that was those other nations Right They weren't coming from the lineage of Cain Right And they basically uh, joined into their customs They partook in those different heathenistic ways Right Versus the ways that we probably still have to have Right And we've seen this through all throughout Israel This oh, is all right. We always have the example of Jake Is in specific <clears throat> Marrying with the women because you're they're, they're they're supposed to be concubines. When you marry with someone, you join in houses. So Jake was joining the Lord with idols and yeah. allowing all of this this crap. The same thing Solomon did. So, it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, yeah. Yeah. Nah, I was just gonna say Solomon was the biggest example. Yeah. Because with him, that's what he was doing. When right. He, after he got older, he got weaker. You know. And when he was a younger age, he was he would he would uh. He was more austere with his women. Like, no, I'm not. I'm not dealing with you on that level. Yeah. You know, but he was. He was. He was still having marriage covenants with his women. Trip. Something you yeah. weren't supposed to do. Yeah. Hey, can I pull this real quick? Yeah. Hey, this is a uh, this is commentary from Robert uh, Jameson. It says, um, "The sons of God saw the daughters of men." It says, "By the former, it meant the family of Seth, Seth who were professedly religious." It wow. says, "By uh, by the latter, the descendants." Uh, of Apostle Cain, mixed marriages between parties of opposite principles and practice were necessarily the source of extensive corruption. It says the woman religious themselves would as wives and mother erect an influence fatal to the existence of religion in their household and consequently the people of the, la of the later age sank into low de uh, depravity. I think I'm saying that right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like the, you know what I'm saying, they were going into the woman. Yeah. So they, you know how Jake gives the woman, you know what I'm saying? She brings her idols in, like like the brother said, Solomon. You know what I'm saying? Even now we look at it, the woman is a, who drags the, the man to church. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, Jake right. don't want to go to church. He's always he's talking about the woman. Right. You see? So the way Moses wrote this was parabolic to where you would have to apply the spirit, put yourself in the, yep. in the story, and now you get it, you know? Because why would Genesis 5 go into the lineage of, of the sons of God and then it just jumped to some Jumpist. some you know reptile people, reptile people. <laughs> <laughs> where they at now? 
They want the hell out of the goalposts on that one. <laughs> Man. Thank <laughs> you. This is a piece of basic proving, you know what I'm saying, that we're not supposed to partake in those different ways. The Lord gave us high holy days and different ways to worship. You know, we had different high holy days. We had different uh, things we do of going to the altars. But they really do like those other nations, those other gods. And that basically led to, like, basically we do a marriage, a covenant agreement. So in order for a lot of those nations for us to be in agreement with them, they want us to partake in their type of ways and customs that they did things, which is going against them. Jeremiah 10 and 2, it says, Thus saith the Lord, Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Yep, they need to not to partake in their ways. Their ways are like are like it to the ways of man, versus we were in the ways of them and father. Be it through Adam, and then our lineage is going to get passed on down. And that's basically what led to us being in the state we're in right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was all. I was just going to say, uh, it says in Psalms that uh, the Lord gave, you know, st stone, wood, and stones for the heathen to worship. You know, but we were supposed to serve the one true power, which is in heaven. And the Father God, by Shemel Shah. That was all I had to say. Genesis, Genesis uh, chapter 6 and verse 2, it says that the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. Yeah, so they, basically, Jake, Jake, as they are now, the sons of God, they were into all these different women, and they were like that back then, but the going off was because of following the ways of the heathen, those are the ways of men. Yeah. It says, and the Lord said, my spirit shall not always strive with man, mm -hmm. for that he is, is uh, it's like it. My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh, yet his days shall be in hundred and twenty years. Basically, the uh, time period of us living, how long we live, it will go down. And basically, you know, the family father was saying that he was, finna, he was basically going off. He was notifying that we were, you know what I'm saying, we were following, we were transgressing. It was going to lead to, you know what I'm saying, the Lord bringing judgment on us. Right, and also that's talking about hundred and twenty years literal that the Lord gave Noah to preach and <laughs> that uh, the people had to repent. Mm -hmm. uh, that was, yeah, that was that grace period, mm -hmm. you know, because men live longer. That we did get weaker and weaker and weaker, but men live longer than uh, 120 years after this point. All right, but it did mark an age of like decline. The decline. Yeah. 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 Die like men. So. Yeah. Noah preached over 100 and some years. Right, but at the same time, he's witnessing the same thing we're witnessing while we're building. Like Jake is gone. Yeah. His perception of time is different than ours, though. Yeah. Also, a good chapter to read along with this is Second Edges three. You know, it goes into this very. It takes you through the whole story that you were reading in Genesis six. Grab it. You can get it if, if you want to. Yeah. You already, you already have it. You just have on that. If you know they got some yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah. yeah. Start at five. Okay. You just read fast and we'll get to the points. It's uh, second edge three and verse five. And gave us and gave us a body unto Adam without soul, which was the workman, workmanship of thine hands, and did it breathe into him the breath of life, and he was made living before thee. Verse six, and thou leadest him into paradise, which thy right hand had planted before ever the earth came forward. And unto him thou gavest commandment to the love to love thy way, which he transgressed. And immediately thou appointest death in him and his generations of whom came nations, tribes, people, and kindreds out of number. And every people walked after their own will. And every people walked after their own will. You see? Pass it up. Yo, That's yo. the same as Adam's yo, lineage. Yo. Walked after their own will. That's the sons of God. <laughs> right there. You know, you got it. And you could break it down as, as he wants. <coughs> Go ahead. Verse 8 again. And every people walked after their own will and did wonderful things before thee and despised thy commandments. 
You know, when the command was basically what the Lord directed us to do, it was basically it wasn't it wasn't as it is now. It was it was more it was more so the oral sense than it is right. now. So that's basically the Lord gave us command of what He wants to direct ourselves in right. doing. Right. But we were going up in ways of basically those ways of man, which is the ways of the flesh. Right. First, first nine, and again in process of time, <laughs> thou brought us the flood upon those that dwelt in the world and destroyed them. And it came to pass. And nowhere does it mention this reptile people. It's talking about the sons of Adam. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> if that was that big of a deal, that would be that would be in there. Yeah, straight up. Straight up. Verse 10. And it came to pass every every of them that as death was to Adam, so was the flood to these. Yep, so that's that's basically why the Lord just basically reset everything. Like he's getting ready to do now, but ultimately, you know he's gonna basically have the whole everybody be governed by the elect. Right. Starting with Austin David, he's gonna have us govern this whole world all over again. Right. And that's it. That's it. Another, another death has to come to the earth. You know why? Because the wickedness has seemingly polluted the whole earth. Right. Like it was like it was then that, that, that it is now. Mm -hmm. you know? Read that next verse. Verse, uh, verse 11. Nevertheless, one of them that thou lettest, namely Noah. And so Noah was a lizard man too? <laughs> mm -hmm. right. Makes no sense. Right. Indicated he's a son of God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Man, verse, easy. verse 11 again. Nevertheless, <laughs> one of them thou <laughs> leftest, namely <laughs> Noah, with his household. Remnant. Yeah. Of whom came all righteous men. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Righteous men. Well, they Beautiful. Right. That's right. Men. That's right. Y'all yeah, know lizards can swim in water too, right? <laughs> Damn. Yeah, so you can go back to Genesis. And you keep reading that chapter on down, you know, it's a bad chapter. Yeah. Uh, Genesis chapter 6 and verse 3. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he is, is also his flesh, yet his days shall be in 120 years. There were giants. Now you got to make that point. Now re read verse 3 again. Because what, what could you use that point? To, to crush these arguments. There's a point right there. Read it. It says, And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he is also flesh. So wait a minute. That tells you. These are the men. Yep. Yeah. Because they're flesh. Because they're being moved by the deeds of the flesh. Yeah. Men. Flesh. You're saying, sure, yeah. <laughs> You got it, bro. This is an angel neither married nor given to marriage, so do that. Kind of, right. Kind of, right. Yeah. And also, 1 Corinthians 15. I was waiting. 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 1 Corinthians 15 and uh, 39. It says, All flesh is not the same flesh, but there is one kind of flesh of men, another flesh of beasts, another of fishes, and another of birds. Mm. Uh -huh. So basically, everything has a, a certain flesh. Mm -hmm. So basically, there there wasn't no giant angels going around popping people as that false doctrine that they have going out, that false teaching. Okay. Verse 40, there also are celestial, celestial bodies mm -hmm. and bodies terrestrial, mm -hmm. but the glory of the celestial is one and the glory of the terrestrial is another. God, and basically, there's a, there's a different glory between an, an angelic body versus a regular human body. An angel is not formed to be able to have sex with a person that's a human. Right. It doesn't make sense. Angels don't think about sex. That's not their the, the purpose of sex is to produce seed on earth. That's a, a function of hum, of human beings. You know. Yes, <laughs> just I think it's one said heavenly, and then uh, yeah, I can give that's well, we 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 get the point though. It basically goes sounds like there's heavenly, and then uh, there's heavenly glory, and then there's glory to other regular flesh. Genesis 6 verse four. and verse 4 uh -huh. it says there were giants in the earth in those days yeah man giant goes into the word Apollo which means fallen ones which shows the fall of the sons of God because we actually we were supposed to be like this high high level people but we was following <coughs> the man which was low level people so basically, also a show that we exalted as well, men of renown. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Now, any wh whenever you bring this out, get write these precepts down. Go to the Apocrypha and type in giants. This you always got to do this. You must have these precepts. You must have these precepts. And read the precepts. Start at Sirach 16. I got it. This is uh, Sirach 16 and verse 7. And it reads, He was not pacified toward the old giants who fell away in the strength of their foolishness. Oh my God. <laughs> Who yeah. fell away in the strength of their foolishness. <laughs> yep, somebody has fool and somebody has without understanding. Right, right, right. Oh, they got nothing to some more you. This is Luke chapter 3, in verse 26. It says, there were, there were the giants famous from the beginning that were of so great stature and so expert in war. Mm. That's they, that shows basically that they were, they were high-level people. Right. Just mm -hmm. like, like it's a, uh, isn't it a book of numbers? Mm -hmm. Can I read some of your men of renown here? You see here, it says, what is, what is a man of renown? It is a compliment or an insult to be identified as a man of renown. Who are the men of renown in our culture? These are the sports stars, movie stars, musicians, the rich. To the lesser extent, they may be our national leaders. Sirac 44. <laughs> yeah, famous men. He said they were musicians. <laughs> Stature. Famous from the beginning. Right. That's what Shem means. The, the name Shem, it means renowned. It means, yeah, yeah. Reputation. Reputation. Yeah. Name. Name popping, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Another chapter is uh, Wisdom of Solomon 14. It goes into this whole history. If y'all, you know, you don't have to get it now, but it brings up the giants as well. Um, I'll get it. Wisdom of Solomon uh, 14, and 6. 14 and 6. It says, For in the old time also, when the proud giants perished, the hope of the world governed by the hand escaped in a weak vessel and left to ages, all ages, a seed of generation. That's speaking of the boat, you know, basically, but they, they perished, the old giants. You know, the, the men of renown, they fell. The you know, they perished. And then ultimately the Lord saved, you know, the legacy of righteousness through Noah. You know. Mm -hmm. Also, too, if, if I may add on to that point, uh, another precept is when you read uh, Psalm 82. It says, for, uh, for the Lord pretty much said that ye are God, but ye shall fall. Like the sons men. of men. When you get that word fall in the Hebrew, it's the fall. It's the same word for giants in Genesis. That's right. Hey, funny, funny, add real quick too. When you, like you said, that Hebrew word for giants, when you actually go into it, and you go into the interlinear, it says giant, large in body, but this is incorrect, for it means excellent, noble, or skillful. Wow. Where's that at? It's a uh, it's blue letter? Yeah, the blue letter. It's a linear. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, it makes me think of First Corinthians 1, where the Apostle Paul says, Not many wise men and all in such yeah. called. You know what I'm saying? So it, one, it puts you in a mindset. Noah was very meek, humble. Even though he was a son of God, he, you know, we don't really know the right. details, but you know, he was called versus those that did have that stature. Right. You know, and it's the same situation with us. We're so, of less stature now, too, as yeah. it says in uh, Second, uh, Second Ezra 5. Right, but read that again, uh, Bubba Kasha. Uh, it says... <laughs> It says, giant, large in body, but this is incorrect, for it means excellent, noble, skillful. Boom. That's the it. sons of God. Like, John Jones times two million. John Jones yeah. times two million. Yeah, yeah, like John Wick style. You know, like nothing mm -hmm. indestructible. Just Ooh. kicking ass. And when you go down furthermore, it says, it says, uh, it says fall, fallers, rebels, or apostates. Apostates. Mm. Wow. That's it. Right. right there. Left their first estate. Mm. Apostate. Man. I got a question. I got a question. I got a question. I got a question. Yep. Um, this is Baruch 3 and 26. It says, there were, there, there were the giants famous from the beginning that were of so great stature mm -hmm. and so experts in war. Yeah. You know, so just going into what he's talking about. You know, it's not going into you know, being these giant. You know, it's talking about their status. They were noble men. 
you know, they were of great stature as in my, you know, they were important. Right. You know, Sons of God. You'd be like a LeBron James or someone today. Right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. No different. Right, the gods of, the, of their time, they were, Moses is just basically giving you your legacy. Like, this is the first Gentiles. <laughs> yeah. yeah, straight up, straight up, yeah. You know. That's it. <clears throat> Genesis 6 and verse 5, it says, And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. Yep, that was basically as we went into they're going to take in those different customs. Right. Those other nations versus right. within the fellow citizens of the nation. Right. Yeah. Right. Can I can I read verse six in the NLT for you? Okay. This is Genesis uh six and four. In those days, after some time, uh the Nephilites lived on the earth, the fallen ones basically, the men of renown. For whenever the sons of God had intercourse with women, they gave birth to children who became the heroes and famous warriors of ancient times. Man, man. Man. That was an NLT? NLT. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like Hercules, all these different legacies yeah. that they got out there. Basically, right. they came back from that. Right. Yeah. Right, right. 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 Story. Yeah. Wow. Um, this is uh, Judah chapter 16 and 7. It says, For the Almighty did not fall... Excuse me, for the mighty did not, I'm going to read this again, Judah 16 and 7, for the mighty one did not fall by the young men, neither did the sons of the titans smite him, Woo. nor high giants set upon him, but Judith, the daughter of Merari, weakened him with the beauty of her countenance. Talking about when, you know, Judith cut off the loaf in his head, but it said the sons of the titans, you know, yeah. think about that, like we talk about the Greek. You know the Greek mythology, but really, like brothers going to all the time, like that came from us being great men, mm. like the sons of the power being great men, and they just <laughs> made up, you know, Remix. stories. You know, from, straight from up that. Remix. Yep, I got a precept. This is Second Ezra seven and forty eight. O thou Adam, what hast thou done? For though it was thou that sinned, thou art not fallen, fallen alone. But we all that come of thee. And that's the, through Seth. Mm -hmm. All right. And eventually up to Noah. So Enoch was a part of that line. <coughs> so. I'm going to show you how, how much more our women should be more humble. Right. Because it's not, it's not about them. Right. It's the men hold the seed. Yeah. Even yeah. though the, our, our sons of God had those heathen women. Right. They still brought forth mighty men. Mighty men. That shows you that the man determines the seed. Right there. <laughs> and it shows you that this ain't no damn half angel, half man. Like if an angel came to earth, he's going to be looking for some pussy. <laughs> where the hoes at? Yeah. Right, where the hoes at? The angel? Where the hoes at? The there. Nah. And, that's what, and, the, and the scriptures plainly go into that. You know what I'm saying? So all these fairy tales and all these different things, all these fairy tales and all these different things that people come up with, when you when you go and look into it, when you look at going to the uh, the the Hebrew and go look up all the words, you see. That's why you got these other groups that's offended by. Oh, nah, y'all doing too much. If you can't speak in English. Nah, 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 nah. nah. That's, that's what I'm saying. You think it ain't just popping coochie? It's English. <laughs> And that ain't what it's talking about. No, no, no. It's talking about the sons of God falling. Right, that's it. And being redeemed. That's like, it. stop, nigga. That's it. That's, that's the, the moral of the Bible. You know, you got all these different precepts. I'm say, you, you can't, I'm say, you can't plant an apple seed and get an orange. Right. You, can't, you just can't do it. You know what I'm saying? So an angel, I'm saying, that, that was, that'll, be, that'll be the Lord condoning adultery and all kind of, it's too much. It's too much. You know? <laughs> Like, put the Bible down and step away. You know, drink some water, breathe. Drink some water. Hell no, man. Right. This is a uh, Matthew 22 and uh, verse 29. It says, "The house shall answer and said unto them." That's these Jews. These Sadducees. Yep. And they give their check to God. They they basically had that uh, conception of banks and like you only live once. Basically, I was trying to correct them on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were trying to confound them. 
Uh-huh. It says, <clears throat> verse 29, Yahweh shall answer. Basically, in, in better and simple terms, they didn't accept reincarnation. Okay. Okay. Matthew 22 and 29, Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Ye do err, not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of the Most High. For in the resurrection, they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels of the Most High in heaven. Yep, and that's they ain't married. We already know marriage according to the Bible is sex. So angels are not going to be going around with sex. That's just their right. body not fashioned in it. Right. Now the bodies we're going to get in the kingdom are, are going to be extraterrestrial. Yeah. Because they're going to be made, because yeah. we're going to rule on earth. Yeah. So there's particular functions we're going to have. Yeah. That the, you know, we're going to, because Yahweh Shah, you got to think. Yahweh Shah told us he's going to drink wine with us. Yeah. Right. So that lets you know. Ooh, that with that good. body, right. you can drink. You know what I'm saying? He already <laughs> in that body waiting on us. So, yeah. so there is going to be extra. It's going to be a whole man. Yeah, like a hybrid to it. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. That can that can be on Earth. And right. Right. Yeah. Right. All purpose body, baby. Yeah. yeah. All mm -hmm. purpose. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, man. Right. Shit. Now, that's your point. Of going to basically, uh, y'all shout to the disciples too. Like for everything y'all forsaken, you don't get it. And they said wives, houses, and all those right. things. I would just yeah. rather use those things. Right. You don't get it a hundred yeah. 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 hey. fold. Mm -hmm. It says the children and the children. And there's vision of children playing in the yeah. streets. Where, where them children? Just pop it up. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's going to be an upgraded body. Yeah. Yeah. The highest one going to turn into a thousand. Right. Right. The angel. Yeah. The highest yeah. one going to turn into a thousand. And all of them be like David. Like, come on now. Yeah. yeah. Come on. But Jake, well, Jake will get it out of that wind. So sperm going to glow? You know what? It just might. It just might. I don't know. <laughs> we didn't. We know not what we shall be. I was like, first of all, first of all, you ain't gonna see it. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> they gonna, they gonna, they gonna, they gonna pull, pull out. out yeah, that's a solid point. Yeah. That's a solid point, bro. So you ain't gonna see no more. How you gonna know? Yeah. Yeah. Don't ask me no more. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. We ain't gonna see it. Can I go? This is uh, Deuteronomy 30 and 4 and points in verse 5. It says, If any of thine be driven out unto the uttermost parts of heaven, from thence will the Lord thy God, or Yahweh Shai, gather thee, and from thence will he fetch thee, and Yahweh Shai will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possessed, and thou shalt possess it, and he will do thee good and multiply thee above thy fathers. There you go. Just laying back on the point, you know. We're going to be multiplying, reproducing, you know, um, mm. under that uh, new covenant. Yeah, you know, a new way. Like, uh, Romans 11, that we feel all, all that people shall be righteous. Right. Isaiah, Isaiah 60, a little one shall come a thousand. How you right. going to do that if you, if you can't reproduce seed? Right. All right. This is uh, Genesis chapter 6 yeah. and verse 5. It says, And the Most High saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. So and it was basically bad. They were, they were basically all in, all in, in go for transgression by whatever those women they were dealing with. Mm -hmm. They basically were taking on the customs of the nations. Okay. <clears throat> Verse 6, it says, And it repented, <clears throat> and it repented Jehovah Shimei Shai that he made man on the earth, and it grieved him at his heart. And he basically, <laughs> the Lord was, was pissed off at the way he reacted. Our people was basically, oh, the sons of God were not being sons of God. We weren't being the extension of the Father on this side. We were basically being like in those lowly nations the Lord created for, for service. Yep, niggas. Yep. <laughs> 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 uh, mm -hmm. Can I get this real quick? Oh, yeah, boy. Second Ezra 15 and um, 5 and 6. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction, for wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the mm. whole earth. And their hurtful works are fulfilled. So, you know, this is obviously going into what's taking place today. But this is not the first time that, you know, wickedness has exceedingly polluted the planet Earth. Mm -hmm. You know, we're reading about it right here in Genesis 6. You need uh, to swap 40 real quick. Swap 49 real fast and get back. Come on. Finish it up. <clears throat> with, uh, verse 49 and 10. Come on. Sirach chapter 40 and verse 9. It says, death and bloodshed, strife. And the sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scourge, those things are, are created for the wicked, and for their sakes came the flood. Mm. So wicked, wicked is exceeding through the earth. That's why the Lord is going to basically Sheesh. redo, just reset everything. Because why his wickedness is being done on the planet Earth. Beautiful precept. Yeah, that was a nice little. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. In a fight like that, that'll knock a nigga down. Yeah. Straight up. Yeah. 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 
Genesis. 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 Okay, Genesis chapter 6 and verse 7. And it says, And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast and the creeping thing and the fowls of the air, for it repented me that I had made them. Yep, so that's basically talking about the Lord getting ready to flood. Basically flood, flood, planet earth. And now we're going to have that second, second, that was the first death. The second death is going to be fire. When I used to be in nuclear warheads and the chariots and many rays of light, and the Lord is going to have an elect, which the elect back then was Noah and his, his sons and their family. Versus now the elect is going to be actually his men. He's going to continue his, uh, continue, you know what I'm saying, basically everything through that second temple. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's basically saying verse 8. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, verse, verse, verse 8 right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, verse 8. Kind of. Genesis 6 and 8. But Noah found grace in the eyes of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. That's the same thing the elect is going to receive is grace and mercy. You know, the Lord is going to basically look past, you know, our shortcomings and basically have Yahweh Shah's blood be the sacrifice versus our own blood being a sacrifice. Right, I right. Have, I have a question. Yep. Uh, Sarah, uh, 44 and 16, he not pleased the Lord and was translated, being an example of repentance to all generations. Verse 17 point. Noah was found perfect and righteous. In the time of wrath, he was taken in exchange for the world. Therefore was he left as a remnant onto the earth when the flood came. You know? Yeah. When you go into that word exchange, you can translate that to a kapar, which is ransom. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like an atonement to a degree. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Isaiah 43 pretty much says the same thing, how the Lord used Egypt as a ransom. For the righteous to be able to get out of it. The same thing applies to this day. The Lord's going to allow these wicked to accumulate a tab. That way that they'll die and the remnant will be delivered. You know, that's that balance. Yeah. But that word ransom is going to be there for exchange. Right. Mm -hmm. And all things on earth are dependent on Adam through his descendant, Noah. Mm -hmm. Everything is through him. <laughs> yeah. Noah was that company. Was you know that, what I'm saying? Yeah. That way made it through the flood. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You need Adam you, to, to get Noah. You need Adam. Adam. Yeah, straight up. You know, he brought that, that through, and, and, and Seth, who had Enos, and then ben, began men to call on the name of the Lord. So that was our order to, you know, to proclaim the Lord, you know. And damn. Man, that's heavy. We fell. Ezekiel 14 and 13, uh, we're going to read 13 and 14. It says, Son of man, when the land sinneth against me by trespassing, trespassing grievously, then will I stretch mine hand upon it and will break the staff of the bread thereof and will send famine upon it and will cut off man and beast from it. So that's the Lord done countless times different nations for their transgression. But the Lord the Lord always had left remnants of men that he's dealing with alive. He made right. with him and he's sustained in those times. Yeah. Verse 14. Though, for, though these three men, Noah, Daniel, and Job were in it, they should deliver but their own souls by their righteousness, saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh So the Lord basically, basically gave them grace and mercy. So it's basically like into the, what the, what's coming through the elect. Mm -hmm. They're going to remain, even though the Lord can have a nuclear fire be done all the way through back on the lake. Right. We'll be in a chariot watching this place be destroyed while we're in a chariot. Basically, the Lord passing over, you know what I'm saying, us and then going and just burn all these people down here. Right. Yeah. That's what you say, Isaiah, the first chapter, the one for that remnant. Then you have the large multitude. Mm -hmm. But I got a precept. This is Genesis 7 and 1. And the Lord said unto Noah, Come thou in all thy house into the ark, for in thee have I seen righteousness before me in this generation? And the precept to that is you shine as lights amongst this crooked and perverse generation. What's that? I know what you're talking about. Yeah. 2 Peter 2 and 5? Yeah. 2 Peter 2 and 5? Damn, y'all some bad boys. 2 Peter 2 and 5? Yeah. 2 Peter 2 and 5. 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 First Peter, Who said second. that second Peter? <laughs> <laughs> he was sure yeah, too. Yeah. Yeah, God damn. Yeah. God damn. At least it was the second chapter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. 
That was a turnover. <laughs> Where we at? Philippians 2 and 15. Oh, Philippians 2 and 15. <laughs> yeah, get Philippians. Let's get it. Let's get it. This is Philippians 2 and 15. It says, it says that you may be blameless and harmless, the sons of the Most High. Start over. All right, come. Philippians 2 and 15. It says that you may be blameless and harmless, the sons of the Most High, without rebuke, in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom ye shine as lights in the world. Now, that's ultimately what's happening to the elect. We're going to be justified. And basically, this nation we're in right now is the mother of all this abomination. This is the most wicked nation that's ever been the world on planet Earth. It took on all the customs of the heathens and right. made it compiled into one. Right, right. Daniel, Daniel 12 said he's going to turn into righteousness. Yep. Right. Um, that scripture that says zealous of good works, like that was Noah. He was zealous to build a, the ark. So we're, we're, you can tie all of our forefather stories to what, what we got going on, mm -hmm. you know, Straight some up. shape, form, or fashion. That's right. Even Enoch, his righteousness led to him. Yeah. 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 Likewise, now it's like, we're just all you, all you got, you got spiritually going to it too. Yeah. Basically, like the spirit, like they now the truth, like spiritual art. People mm -hmm. outside the truth, they're not inside the art. Mm -hmm. they're, not, they're liable to get judged. Yeah. The time's over mm -hmm. there. Uh, Luke 17 and 26 it says and as it was in the days of Noah so shall it be in the days of the son of man they did eat they drank they married wives they were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all you know and like we're reading if I can add like we're reading in Genesis 6 <laughs> the sons of God you know are in that category you know, yeah. of, uh, given in marriage right you know so showing you is not, it said men and women were doing these things, yeah, bro. Right. I know damn they, they were unconcerned. I put that short up today. I don't know if you saw it. Yeah, yeah, I saw it. <laughs> yeah, I was, but I was scrolling shorts yeah. and then I saw yeah, it. I was see, like, God yeah. damn. These people are unconcerned. <laughs> I'm famous. <with> anything besides <laughs> gratification of the flesh, man. Right. You, you made the mention. You said, they, this, this, NASA came out and said, there's UFOs and we don't know what it is. Right. And you said, these people just kept eating sandwiches. <laughs> 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 Like, nothing, no, it's, that shows you there's nothing that can yeah. happen that to make these people consider. Nothing. Yeah, right. nothing. No. And the sons of God was in that, on that same oh, wave. And, like, and, 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 and Noah, had, Noah was preaching uh, Hebrews 11. Oh, yeah. He preached on righteousness. Right, yep. See, that's not true. Right? Yep. We got to get that, too. Them cities being ways to condemn the world. Right. He condemned the world. <laughs> Yeah, as he's looking for that, it makes me think of the account where the bro in New York, your Arzayan, seen all those fiery chariots passing by. It was like, it was dozens of them. You know, and he's looking at it, and there's people that's around. Because I, you know, I, I asked him, and I was like, bro, what was the people saying when they see it? He was, they was like, bro, they kept walking. One of them was like, oh, my gosh, the aliens, and laughed, and just walked away. <laughs> I was like, damn. He was like, bro, they didn't get fucked. Don't give shit, bro. Wow. Damn. Yeah. These people, bro. Yeah. Man, oh my goodness. Goodness. straight up. Yeah, that's that McDonald's. Bro. bro. <laughs> yeah. He's saying where the where the people know it for. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wherever you yeah, you uh, find it. Hebrews eleven and seven. But faith by faith Noah being warned of the most most high things not seen as yet, moved with fear. Right. So we were warned about things we've seen the visions and we we're going into the prophecies we know what's going to happen so now we're like oh shit mm -hmm. so that's when the, the lord showed noah like this is what i'm going to do like because he probably saw it in the vision like yeah. oh shit <laughs> he probably, he probably put it smack dab in the middle of it too yeah, yeah. man they were on the cage and spelt the raindrop here and there just as that warning like shit <laughs> yeah, what the hell was all shit so that's where <laughs> so him seeing that and being open to that understanding Led him to move it in a particular, mm -hmm. you know. Right, right. I got that preacher right there. Yeah, they would fuck you up. Yeah, you got uh, it. The range of yeah, this, is, this is Second Peter Straight two up. and five. Second Peter two and five. And spare not the old world, but save Noah, the eighth person, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. Hmm. Nice. Preacher of righteousness. That's plain old English right here. Right. Right. 
Right. They can see it, but right. they, they keep eating sandwiches. Right. Now, I got a precept to, to link to what Elder Bond just said. This is uh, what's about the doctrine. Wisdom of Solomon 9 and 17. In thy counsel, who have known, except thou give wisdom and send thy Holy Spirit from above. For so the ways of them which lived on the earth were reformed, and men were taught the things that are pleasing unto thee and were saved through wisdom. They also wisdom teaches. Yeah. The flood. Yeah. Yeah. And then they knew to the then they knew until yeah. the flood came. Right. So wisdom teaches too. Yeah. Through rap. Yeah. Sodom right. and Gomorrah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sodom and Gomorrah was an example of how not to be. Right. This is what's gonna happen if y'all do that. Now everybody can get married. Right. Right. So I can have uh, what was that was yeah, yeah, that was Wisdom of Solomon 9 and 17. Wow. Yeah, you can marry animals and all kinds of things nowadays, and it's, and it's cool. But that's, that judgment's still coming. You know, just because you've been given the so-called green light to destroy yourself, like, that's what I'm saying. You're going to be destroyed. It's just that simple. 17 and 18. Yeah, Wisdom of Solomon 9, 17 and 18. But y'all got it. We only got so many more scriptures. I mean, y'all pretty much just broke it down. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, it's basically more like generation of Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I want to add a quick piece of what y'all were saying a little bit. Proverbs 14 and 26. Mm -hmm. And the fear of the Lord is a strong confidence. So basically believing what the Lord is ready to do is moving us to, compelling us to, you know what I'm saying, to be obedient. To actually obey what the Lord is doing because you actually believe the things your judgments and the stuff you're going to do. Okay. Yeah. It says, and the fear of the Lord is a strong confidence mm -hmm. and his children shall have a place of refuge. It's like Noah did. Mm -hmm. Likewise, we're all following the same path he's going. But yeah, that last one, I mean, that place. <clears throat> kind of. Genesis uh, 6 and 8. But Noah found grace in the eyes of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. These, these are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just man and perfect in his generations. Mm. And Noah walked with Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. So basically, he moved, he moved in a, a way that was pleasing to the Lord. So that's what made the Lord be pleased with him. He got to show him grace. And it also says he was just, so he was justified. Right. Sure, the Lord was with him. Justified. He was justified by grace. Faith. The Lord was with him. He, he offered up a, a righteous sacrifice. Yep. yep. Now, now, one other point here is son of God ain't always associated with somebody in the heavens. Now, we do have the example in Job uh, where somebody can get that. Job 1 Yeah, just get that real quick. And then... Um, yeah, you can get a it's a few it's a few examples because son son the son of God is always really is tied to obedience when you get it. Yeah, yeah. You know right. what I'm saying? Absolutely. You, you'll you'll see. Whoever Job, got it. Job one and six. Yeah. This is Job one and six. It says, "Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also among them." So there you go. That's one example. In the heavens, you have sons of God. All right. Now on earth. Uh, Romans 8 and 14 as many as are led by the spirit they are the sons of God so that's on earth all right uh, Solomon was called the son of God Yahweh Shah is known as the son of God they were on earth so just because you see and hear son of God it's not always talking about somebody in a, an angel now that that is in one aspect of the son of God, but as we see, there's different examples, you know. Right. Those right. men that those men that walked with the Lord. Right. Right. Alcohol, please, sir. Right. 
Yes. Yeah. This is um, um, Sirach 2 and 1. And it reads, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. So right there, the Most High is already acknowledging that he's going to put these temptations on you. Yeah. He's going to also help you. Right. Because he's already calling you my son. Right, right, right. He made us subject to hope, you know. And that precept you quoted earlier, the Philippians 2 and 15, being lights in the world, it says, uh, it says uh, that you may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God. The sons of God in a crooked and perverse generation. <laughs> so son of God ain't always associated with an angel. That's another aspect you can hit people with, too. You know? I got one, too. Yeah. This is St. John chapter 1, verse 12. It says, but as many as received him, I'm starting start at verse 11. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, mm. even to them that believe on his name. Mm. So you said earlier, oh, it's tied to obedience. You know, So those that are obedient, obviously you've got to be an Israelite, you know, but you're obedient unto what the Lord said. We're becoming sons of God, and that starts here. That's it. You know? And the final one, Hosea 1 and 10. <laughs> Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it came to pass that in the place wherein it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there shall it be said, Ye are the sons of the living power, the sons of God. Mm -hmm. And that's through obedience, you know, so. Got a oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, this is Hebrews chapter five and verse eight. So you that guy, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you know, hey, you, hey, there's always that guy. Uh, Tazama, yeah, you know, he took the torch. Uh, you know. uh, <laughs> what is it though? Uh, Hebrews five and eight. Five, okay. Uh, this concerning Yahweh Shah. Though he were his son, yet learned he obedience Woo! by the things which he suffered. That's it. In our law, if you had a disobedient son, he is no son. You there you go. That's why it says kiss the son also. Kiss too. the son. Right. So that's a you know, those are once you get those down and in your arsenal, you can pretty much deal on that topic. Because how are they gonna get around that? Yeah, right. yeah. Right. Call you a complete demon, call you a racist. That's it. That's it. Shalom. That's basically the point. Yeah, that's it. That's it. They're going to burn out the precepts because they're lying.